And the Barnet 11 this afternoon in goal is Adam Parks, that emergency loan signing from yesterday. A back four of Sam Beard, Matt Preston, Ben Richards Everton, and Lee Vaughan. A midfield three of Themis Kefalas, Harry Taylor, and Alexander McQueen, a former dagger himself. And returning to the starting 11, Canadian Michael Petrasso. On the opposite wing is Efron Mason Clark, and leading the line this afternoon for the Bees is Courtney Baker Richardson. And I am now pleased to say I've been joined by Adam Rowe. Just in time. It should be a good one, Aaron. Local derby, plenty for the fans to shout about if we can get the three points this afternoon against the Daggers side, where we know all about the vast majority of the players. I'm sure you've already alluded to that. Several former Bees in that Daggers team today, and they're in red hot form. It's a strike force not to be messed with, but here's a chance for Barnet, maybe. And that cross almost sneaks in at that far post. Had uh, Elliot Justin scrambling. A decent enough start, I think, from Barnet. Aaron, they've tried to impose themselves on the game without creating too many chances. As you said, that cross just had Justin worried for a minute. Good to have Michael Petrasso back here on the ball, starting again. He's been so pivotal for the Bees this season, although it hasn't been a season Barnet fans will look back on with too much pleasure. He's certainly, certainly been a shining light, and here's a chance for him to maybe get a shot away. It's blocked by Reynolds. Here's Efron Mason Clark out wide to Lee Vaughan. Crossing opportunity. Strikes for Letty and loops up. Almost drops for Courtney Baker Richardson there, but now it'll be a chance to clear through Eletherian. Here's Mo Sagaf on the halfway line, being hassled by a former Daggers player in the Bees team, Alex McQueen. Now it's all the way back with Justin. It's such a strange relationship these two clubs have. They just seem to trade players on regularity, particularly under John Still, of course. Here's Mario Valesi with his first chance to run at the Barnet defence. He gets a shot away, and that's deflected over the bar. Would have been the first time that Adam Parks has been called into action, of course, only arriving yesterday. Good block by Matt Preston. As you just see the replay, Mario Valetti getting the ball on this near touchline and gets does well to get past Lee Vaughan and Preston stands strong. But it might have been troubling Adam Parks had the big number five not been there. Here's Efron Mason Clark. He's going to get a shot away, but that's not troubling Elliot just a minute into the empty Bees Terrace. Right across is blocked by Kefalas, and now the Bees will look to come away with the ball. McQueen with the outside of his boot sets away. Baker Richardson, he's got Efron Mason Clark busting a gut in the box if you can find him, but he wins a corner. And Barnett there just showing what they can do on. Here is that corner kick though, Michael Petrasso to take. Towards the near post, flicked on by Harry Taylor towards Matt Preston. He couldn't get a clear connection on it. Here is Preston again. Out wide towards Efron Mason Clark. Got to get a cross in here. Not given too much support. Has to drop deep to Richards Everton, but Preston takes it off with his feet. Beard and Richards Everton collide, and maybe an opportunity for Dagenham to break here. Keflas does well to force Blalanta back towards his own goal. They're from Mason Clark now running at the Daggers defence, but he just is dispossessed by Robinson. And now Balanta looks to flick through Paul McCallum, and here's an opportunity for the former Barnet striker and a vital touch there from the glove of Adam Parks that could well have been sneaking in at that far post, Adam. Yeah, it was a, a quick counter, and all of a sudden Paul McCallum was sort of bursting through, and you thought that it was a likely big, big opportunity for. The former Barnet and Solihull man, but as you say, important touch from Adam Parks in the Barnet goal. It looked like it was going to strike the post, but you never know whether it's going to strike the inside or outside. It's a I have to make move sure from the daggers. Nice little ball round the corner, and it's back with Balanta now. Out on the left hand side is Mara Valetti. Skips away from Lee Vaughan, looking to get a cross in. There is a good cross. It's towards the far post where Eletheri was charging in, but he couldn't quite get a clean connection on it. There's a bit of collateral damage to Sam Beard in the process. Had to be brave. 
Sam Bede. He just did enough to put Elefeiru off because it was a good ball into the box by Maren Valetti. Way. Right clips it in towards Valetti at the far post. Knocks it back in towards Reynolds, whose header is well saved. It's a great but start. The flag is up. That was a fine reactionary save from Parks nonetheless. I'd like to see that one again, Aaron. Valetti did well to get up and win the header. It would have been McCallum in an offside so, position. But it's a great stop nonetheless. And then to get his boot out to get clear of danger. Good stop from Adam Parks. But he's always offside. Robinson out to Eleutheriou. Running at Beard once more. Nice little interplay between him and Sagaf. Gets a cross in. Hits the thigh of Matt Preston. Shooting opportunity for Balanta, but Parks is down quickly to deny him. Barnett needs to try and get themselves out, Aaron, as I've said a couple of times. Dagenham, certainly the team looking the more likely. It was a comfortable stop in the end for Adam Parks. Flicked in, it's going to be bundled in here by Paul McCallum. And it's one of the former bees who opens the scoring for the opposition this afternoon. It's all a bit sixes and sevens from the Barnet defence. But it's Paul McCallum with his 11th of the season who opens the scoring this afternoon. Yeah, they never dealt with that first contact it was a, a decent stop by Adam Parks and McCallum was there to follow up and bundle it over the, over the line but once again it's wave after wave of Dagenham attacks here's another chance and it's narrowly wide of that great post move. It's Matt Robinson with the effort from range. I mean, Parks was always watching it go wide, but a great little interchange between Paul McCallum just to find his teammate and the shot is not far away at all. Tried to place it almost from distance in that bottom corner and it wasn't far away, as you say. Ben Nugent's header is not convincing. It's a low effort from Balanta, but comfortable for Parks. It's, it's Efron Mason Clark or it's Alex McQueen to take this one just before the break here. You fancy this to be the last action of this half? It's Alex McQueen. He go, tries to go the opposite side. Second chance. Follies it past the goal. And that's the best opportunity that Barnet have had this this half, and it's kind of gone to waste. Yeah. yeah. Once it came back off the wall, it was going to have to be a snapshot, and that would have been, again, you see the perfect execution and snatched at it and never really, tra well, was never travelling. Justin. Nugent just heads that away, but it's not fully clear. Here's Khan. Gets his cross in. Headed away, but it's going to drop here for Valetti. Gets a shot away, does Valetti, and that's a strong hand from Parks. Needed to deal with it, and deal with it he did. The Watford loanee. Backed off and backed off, and we know what Valetti can do. And he just took his time, took his time. No one there to get a foot in, and his effort is really well saved by Adam Parks. Corner kick to come, Will Wright to take. In. It's a dangerous delivery and it's almost gone all the way through. Appeals for a foul on Parks, nothing doing. But he really fizzed that one across, did Will Wright. Just needed a touch. Reynolds out to Eleutheriou now. Cuts in field. Back to Reynolds in nosebleed territory for the Dagenham, Dagenham number two. Here's an opportunity though, 
and that is a fine, fine finish from the Dagenham number 12, Matt Robinson. Almost placing it into that top corner. And he has doubled the Daggers' lead. 2 0. Yeah, great finish from Matt Robinson. He's a man who's been in form in recent weeks, and that finish shows you why. Found himself some space on the edge of the box. It was quick interchange play again by the Daggers. Barnett didn't deal with it and curled past the despairing dive of Adam Parks. But again, it's a, another case of Barnett being unable to clear their lines. And there's a sixth goal of the season for Matt Robinson, whose finish was certainly better than the celebration that followed. But it is now 2 0. He's done really well to control it on the bobble as well, because it just sat up and he, he used it actually to guide it past Parks. But it's a long way back for Barnett now. Fizzed in low and it had Park scrambling across. Could well have been creeping into that near post. There's the Dagenham 20 shaped up maybe to cross it in. Could well have caught out the 21-year-old in the Barnett goal. One of the real big losers of the change of management really. He gets his opportunity and then a new manager comes in and doesn't quite fancy him. Obviously he is, I wouldn't say disadvantaged by his height, but for a lot of managers at this level, they, they take one look at Antonis and don't particularly fancy his chances. But uh, there as he fizzes an effort just over the bar, Justin had it covered. Yeah, good from Antonis. The shot was always going over and Elliot Justin knew that but I mean in a game where Barnett have had few shots it fair play for at least pulling the trigger trying something Vasily through to Adeloy and here's a chance for Barnett to bring the ball forward Tommy Adeloy it gets through to Baker Richardson can the bees pull a goal back he's taking it to a very very narrow angle should have pulled the trigger a lot sooner and now Dagenham's, Dagenham have got Bodies back. McQueen gets his cross in towards Adeloy. Vital header from Elliot Johnson, though. Adeloy looking to bring this one under control, and he does. Bring the ball forward. He's got Vaughan over in plenty of space. Can he bring it under control? Lee Vaughan crosses in towards the far post where McQueen is there. Heads it back towards Adeloy. He can't get it under control and there is the full time whistle just a few seconds short of the full five minutes that were added on and it's safe to say that the daggers are more than deserving of the three points this afternoon